the Hot Wheels Retro races into 2014. Here's the five cars in this batch. All of them. Well, actually, I shouldn't even say cars. Now that I look at them, I see uh, two cars, a truck, a flying spaceship, and uh, I don't know, what do you call that? An open wheeler, open roadster? Anyways, all of these, uh, lots of, let's see, uh, TV show. This is probably the least popular. Uh, lots of TV shows, lots of movies. Lots of movies. Unfortunately, we lose a main character. Here we have, yeah, a couple movies, I believe. At least one movie and lots of uh, cartoons. And this one, lots of movies. Many decades of movies. Let's go ahead and take a look up close at the Fast and Furious, the Fast 508 Dodge Challenger SRT8. This has a nice, slick, black paint job. Real rider tires. You can see some uh, side decals on the side. You got your uh, orange and red. We have some tail light tampos. I don't, uh, you know what? I think we do get some uh, decals inside. It looks like the uh, stick shift has been uh, painted silver. That's a nice little detail. Uh, a lot of these models, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, specific uh, videos on them also has uh, some headlight decorations as well yeah i think um one two three i'm pretty all five of these are going to wind up in future videos i haven't opened up any of the retros in a while but all five of these are going to wind up in a video uh, in the future here we have the star trek uss enterprise ncc 1701 this one has a little bit of extra tampos compared to the basic release Oh, I forgot to mention the Fast Five. Yeah, it did get uh, nice rubber tires and decos, but it is missing. I think it said Hemi on the side of the basic release. This one here, some uh, added tampos on it. I'll do a comparison later on. Uh, no real rider tires, uh, of course, uh, no tires at all on this one. Not exactly one of my particular favorites, but I know people like to collect the Enterprise. Let's take a look at the Flintstones. The Flintmobile, this one uh, definitely got a big improvement compared to the basic release. You got some, everything's painted it looks like, well except for the uh, orange plastic. But uh, look, you got steering wheels painted, your seats are painted, you have uh, the wheels are painted, you can see it's white on the side. And actually it has yellow real rider tires, you'll see that up close when I do the uh, focus video on this model. No license plate, I guess they didn't have them back then. But uh, kind of a fun model to collect if you like the Flintstones. And everybody recognizes the uh, Flintmobile. Here we have the Simon & Simon 1980 Dodge Macho Power Wagon. This is just beautiful. Love the tampos. I'm not familiar with the TV show, but uh, it's got some nice tampos on the side. Got some headlight tampos. Tail lights. Yeah, got decos on all the sides. Very nice. And I, I love those big rubber tires. Big fan. This one, uh, this one's going to be included in a uh, pretty fun video, I hope. That's my plan, anyways. And last but not least, the love bug. Now, here's the love bug. It's got your number 53. Pretty much the same tampos on the basic release. Actually, I don't remember if the basic release had the red taillights. The basic release did, definitely did not have the silver roof opening because Herbie was a, a convertible or a open, had a sunroof, I should say. It's not really convertible, had a sunroof. The other thing that's different between the retro and the basic Herbie, as you can see, the red stripe, white stripe, blue stripe. There's actually, uh, the basic only had two of the stripes. I think it was missing the white stripe. And actually, I'm trying to get a hard but hard view on it here. But there's a silver stripe next to the red one. The basic one did not have that. So the retro Herbie the Love Bug gets uh, some added decals. It also gets the uh, real rider tires. And it has small tires just like it did on the other, the mm, Footloose. Footloose had the yellow bug. It had small wheels like this too. I don't know, I kind of think this model looks better with a bigger tire in the back, but as with Footloose, the licensor said that the tires had to be the same size, so I think maybe for the uh, Volkswagen Beetle here for the Love Bug, maybe the licensor said that the tires had to be the same size as well. 
I just don't like that big gap. Looks a little funny. Maybe it's that way on the real car, and I never really paid attention. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's the uh, Hot Wheels A-Case Assortment for 2014. Hopefully we get many more releases. I know you guys as well as I would love to see some more cars from the Fast and Furious series of movies. If they do, I'm sure they're going to be scooped up quickly. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.